Hi there. Another day of significant contrasts up and down the United Kingdom with warm, sunny spells across some southern parts, just to the south of this warm front. And to the north of the warm front, fairly cool for northern Scotland, but that warm front is not moving far fast. And as a result, it's sticking around across parts of Northern Ireland, southern and central Scotland, northern England. Outbreaks of rain continuing here, that rain heaviest across the southern uplands, the northwestern part of the lakes, for example. Quite blustery as well, the wind's picking up through the day. The wind's meanwhile easing for Shetland. Sunny spells here with just a few showers hanging about. Further south, that's where the best of the sunshine will be across southern parts of Wales, southern and southeastern England, and temperatures here widely low to mid-20s, 26 Celsius, the afternoon high somewhere in the southeast of England. Then into the evening, we're likely to see an increase in humidity move up from the south and associated with that, the chance of some thundery showers towards West Wales and southwestern England. Otherwise, clear spells for the southeast and the far north of Scotland, a few showers continuing here, but a cool night to come in the far north, 6 to 8 Celsius. We keep the cloud and rain, although it will peter out across central and southern Scotland, the far north of England and parts of Northern Ireland, 9 to 10 Celsius here. But as the humidity rises further south, a warm night to come, 15 to 16 Celsius in many spots as we start off Saturday. And we've still got some of those thundery showers across southwestern areas and the south of England as we begin Saturday. I think they'll ease for a time. Warm sunny spells developing across much of England and Wales during the middle part of Saturday. A fine spell for many and the rain across these central parts also tending to ease although the cloud remains quite blustery here as well. The far north of Scotland once again on the cool side of that front but plenty of sunny spells, just the odd shower highs of 16 or 17 Celsius but the warmth in the southeast once again temperatures reaching the mid-20s, 26 or even 27 Celsius possible. However, later on Saturday, I think we'll see an increasing risk of thundery showers developing initially towards the southwest and then that risk transfers northwards during Sunday as low pressure near Iberia sends a plume of increased humidity but also increased instability northwards across the country. We keep higher pressure towards the northeast and so a fine and bright start here, albeit relatively cool as we begin Sunday morning. For eastern parts of England, the potential for some early sunshine as well. But you can see those thundery showers getting going through the day on Sunday, moving their way northwards, some longer spells of rain as well, some very wet conditions in places. I wouldn't take the graphics too literally because these thundery outbreaks are difficult to pinpoint exactly a couple of days ahead. No, needless to say, though, it is an increased risk through the day on Sunday of thundery showers moving northwards and eastwards. And in some places, there will be some very large rainfall totals, especially towards the southwest. Clinging on to some drier and at times brighter weather towards the east and the far north. But I think given the extra cloud and those outbreaks of rain, although we're sending this increased humidity northwards, temperatures will be impacted with low 20s more likely in the south, mid to high teens further north and feeling perhaps a bit warmer for northern parts of Scotland, albeit with increased cloud. Then into the start of next week, further thundery showers for a time before the weather turns much cooler from the northwest. Bye-bye.